last episode. What have you forgotten here, Miss Catherine Waters? Now I'm an economics teacher at a school. Get lost. How about I'll do some cool moves and then you'll see a movie with me? Did you hear what the teacher said yesterday? About making actual money on garbage? So I thought of supplying garbage to recyclers. You're gonna go dumpster diving now? <laughs> no way, I'll hire homeless people and... And where are you gonna get the cash for that? That's what I was asking you about. If you give it to me, I'll have it back to you in full in three months. Do you want 10% of the profits? Where am I gonna get money for homeless people? There's some money to be made! Hey, what is this? Hey! What is that? That's what I should be asking you. You will live, John. Mild concussion, minor bruising. You'll be staying with us for a couple of days. How long? Ouch. A couple of days? But I can't. Why is that? I have a date. <laughs> All your dates are still planned. Mm-hmm. You don't know my girlfriend. Now she's definitely going to dump me. Thank you. Drug enforcement. I don't know what that is. It's the first time I've seen it. And I'll explain. This is cannabis, a drug. Now we'll go to the principal and you will tell me where you got it. What the hell? This is a setup. This is the first time I've seen it. Do you know how many times a day I hear that crap, boy? So from school, right to your holding cell? It's not mine. I don't even know what it's doing in my pocket, I swear. You're saying someone planted it on you? Of course. Yeah, that's a cool story. Let's start over again. Listen, what's the weed situation like in your school? I don't know. I don't smoke. Oh, well, well, well. Maybe someone else does. Maybe they do. I don't know. You have to find out if you don't want to wind up behind bars. What? Well, we need to expose buyers and sellers. Well, what should I do? You try to sell a couple of little bags. Whoever buys is the buyer and the seller will approach you. The fact that your school is in circulation is evidenced by the dose here. Agreed? This, this is illegal. What? You scared? Don't piss yourself. You'll be undercover. Nothing will happen to you. Really? We're going to the police station? No, no, I'll do it. Take off your backpack. Get out of here, boy. Give me your phone number. Zero six, zero six seven. Okay. Five nine one. Five nine one. Seven seven. Seven seven. I'll be in touch. Bye now. Get in the car. I'm gonna walk. It wasn't enough for everyone to know that I was the teacher's daughter. And just in general, why did you choose to work at this school? I just needed a job. You know perfectly well that I had to close my company. Mm. And by the way, I'm an economics teacher. There aren't that many schools in the city. There were no vacancies anywhere else. Don't you dare approach me at school or tell anyone there that you are my mother. It's not something I particularly want. Nothing adds to a woman's age like a grown daughter. Yes. Is this Catherine Waters? Yes, it is. My name is Dr. Alice Johnson. I'm a psychiatrist. My colleague from the city hospital gave me your daughter Veronica's card. I will be waiting for her registration and consultation on Monday. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you are talking about. The daughter was discharged and she absolutely does not need a psychiatrist consultation. She is healthy. Miss Waters, patients are required to be examined by a psychiatrist after a suicide attempt. Listen, there was no suicide attempt. It was just routine teenage antics, that's all. Listen. I don't have time to argue with you. If she does not come to see me, I will have to register her for mandatory examination 
in a psychiatric clinic. Good day to you. Damn it. No, no, today I, I can't today. But let's meet tomorrow, yes? <laughs> Their coffee's great. See you at school then. There's no time, well, what can you do? Yes, yes. Not I could. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Good morning. Good morning. I want to ask you something. I'm listening. I sent a healthy child to the school and you sent him to the hospital. John, by the way, has a concussion and he is in serious condition. Please remain calm. I spoke with the doctor. John's condition is not serious. Did you want him to kill himself? I will file a complaint with the local administration. I will put you behind bars for negligence. I understand that you are upset, but let's talk calmly. I have nothing to talk to you about. You can do your talking in a different place at a different time. I swear on my life that I'll do what it takes to see you fired. Murderer! Principal Mendelssohn, good morning. Uh, good morning. We have a problem. We need to resolve the situation with John immediately and nip it in the bud while we can. I am preparing an order banning parkour on the school grounds, and if someone violates it, we will immediately expel them. Let them break their necks somewhere else, not here. Don't be in such a rush, Miss Kaufman. Wait a minute. Why not? First, you need to introduce the order to the students. You can't punish people for not knowing the rules. All right, then. I'll prepare an order, and we will show it to everyone at once. Thank you. And I still wanted to give you some materials for Mr. Alexander Samuel. Do you know, is he still home? I don't know. I haven't seen him. <sighs> Goodness, it's warm in here. Unbearable. Miss Kaufman, there's... I have an air conditioner. It's 19 degrees. You need to rest more. You haven't been on vacation in a long time. Of course not. Hello, boys. I've got something Hello. big. You smoke? What? You want to score a blunt? No, I just have a pinch here, and I thought maybe you could use some. That's cool. You uh, Where'd you get it? Well, I got the last of it. Cut us in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you want it or not? No way, man. You nuts. If my own man smells one of me, you know what happened to me. Uh -huh. <coughs> Understand? And I have to have blood work done soon. My father constantly checks me. Damn, who'd buy some, do you know? Are you really selling it? Really? No way. Well, all right. I'm, I'm out. Huh? So he's dealing now. Look who's calling. John? Uh-huh. Answer it. Why'd you do that? Why not? He's a clown, but he almost broke his neck because of you. Let him suffer. Hello, girls. What do you need? Hello. So here's the thing. Are you, Are you stupid, stupid or, or what? something? Paul. You want to get high? What? Well, get high. <laughs> did you bring pot to school? Where did you even get it? Yep, that's what I said. So, you want to drive? <sighs> and what? Say goodbye to football? No, man. I don't do that crap. And you shouldn't either. Sorry, Dad. I overslept. Whew. The student said that I would understand. But you are not a student. You're a teacher. And at least once in a conversation with me, can you not be a director but a father? I didn't sleep all night because I was preparing for class. Look. So what now? I should hang a medal on your chest? Well, at least a thank you. Actually, this isn't even my job. I'm here temporarily, if you haven't forgotten. And I'll be leaving at the first opportunity. Go on. Nobody's making you stay, but while you work at a school, please have a sense of responsibility. Roger, sir. Alex, have a seat. We should talk. As of today, we have a new student at school, Veronica Carter. 
The child is unbalanced. She attempted suicide. Keep a closer watch on her. You have her first period anyway. Dad, do I look like a babysitter for unbalanced children? Go to the teacher's lounge. Miss Kaufman is looking for you there. Hello, Mr. Mendelssohn. A good day. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask in class. What if I have personal questions? Good morning. Good morning. Materials for the English Language Olympiad. Acquaint yourself. Alex, I also wanted to ask, what is your opinion on parkour? Sports are sports. That one's just extreme. Uh -huh. Are you an athlete yourself? Do you drink or smoke? And where's the interest in my personal life coming from? Well, in general, this is a professional interest, nothing personal. You work with children. You know how it happens. A person looks decent at first, but then you dig. Got it. No, I don't smoke. I'm more of a social alcoholic, so with friends or regarding the, what else, uh, sports. Yes, I love sports and used to be quite active myself. Uh-huh. Almost like me. Alex, I also wanted to ask you, do you give private English lessons? Parents are asking. No, I'm sorry, I don't. Boiling in here. I need to open a window. Odd, I'm cold. I wanted to turn off the air conditioner. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Miss Waters, please take the order to ban parkour to the director for his signature. Miss Kaufman, I am a teacher, not a secretary. Seriously? You know, we have this wild idea called mutual aid in our school when colleagues help colleagues. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Turner. Yes. Please take this document to Billier for a signature. Thank you. Okay. I am terribly sorry that you have such a heavy workload that you have to ask your colleagues to do your job. Miss Waters. Your sense of humor is so subtle that you can't even see it. Uh, I'm gonna read this later. Alex. Alex. So what did we just talk about? I don't remember. I will remind you. I asked you about the possibility of private lessons. I wouldn't mind tightening up my English. You know I want to use the language to the fullest. Unfortunately, I don't make exceptions for anyone. Mm. So you're not the kind of man that believes in a free lunch, are you? What do you mean? And what do you mean? Sorry. Yes? Good afternoon. What is your business? You see, my son was injured on school grounds, and I demand an investigation and that the principal be dismissed. I am begging you as one woman to another. Wait, what school are we talking about? What school? School 18. About school 18. And what happened to your son? He did these trendy, well, these ridiculous tricks. Uh, pa, pa, par, por, parkour. 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 The teachers are following the principal's example and closing their eyes to this. My child now has a traumatic brain injury. I beg you, please understand. I thank you very much for your time. We will definitely look into this. I am, of course, grateful to you for understanding, but please do something because the director is doing nothing. 
Better use graph paper. Is this a new girl? Well, what's the matter? Sit down. As of today, there will be a new student in your class, Veronica Carter. Veronica, can you come over here, please? Am I going to have to talk about my family? No, you need to turn your back on the board and your classmates will take turns approaching and writing one adjective they think that they can use to describe you. Herb, you're first. Why me? The stars have a line for you. And now you, Veronica, turn around and translate all the words. Cute. Cool. Interesting. Beautiful. Funny. Kind. Pleasant. Good, you translated all the words correctly. Do you like English? No, I like math. Well, let's continue class. We are always in this room. I also saw this boy a couple times. Oh, Andy. Times. Oh, Andy. Hey, what's up with that guy that was all up in your business earlier? I've been seeing him here a lot lately. Kind of shady. He's a policeman from the drug trafficking department. He wants to find out more about the drug problem at school, and he asked me to help. Gave me a few bags to push and see who'll buy. <laughs> Andy, are you serious? And you believed him? Well, yes. He showed me his badge. It seemed <laughs> legit. What's wrong with you, Andy? The police do not pull people off the streets for cases like that. Especially minors. Just dealing for himself and using you. You think so? Think for yourself. What undercover agent some half-assed James Bond? <laughs> Literally. Andrew? Why are you calling me? I asked you to leave me alone at school. Listen, I wouldn't have bothered you. The doctor just called. They want to see you next week. What other doctor? I was discharged. Yes, you were discharged, but now you have to see a psychiatrist. Oh, don't lie to me. You decided to send me to a doctor. Do you think I'm just some crazy idiot? Veronica. Do you want me to be pumped full of pills and made Nikki. into a vegetable? And then I won't be a problem at all. Right, Mom? What are you saying? You're the one that needs help. I wasn't thinking about anything like that. Veronica? I hate you. Hello? You're no policeman, just a bastard. They're on your own, but did you have help? And now listen. I gave you six pieces of good stuff. That's why I will be controlling your every step with a report at the end of the day at school. If you just 
decide to bail out and snitch, no one will believe you. You'll also wind up in prison for your involvement. In goodbye graduation, university, and your bright future. You wouldn't do that. I sure would. So don't try anything smart. Dude, you're doing it wrong again. Huh? You're doing it wrong. Watch how it's done. See how to do it? Like this. Yeah, I've seen him do it a thousand times. I'm doing everything right. Hey, you! Get down immediately! What is this? What are your last names? Why are you just standing there? Why didn't you stop this nonsense? Don't you care? Why are you waving your hands? Some teacher. What is this? As of today, parkour is prohibited at the school. Understood? John's crack skull not enough for you? That yeah, loser John? He could trip over his own two feet. <laughs> Back to school, both of you. See? If you prepare a move properly, it's completely safe. Like what acrobats do. Acrobats have been doing that all their lives. And you? Tomorrow you will both be expelled, understood? And you're standing here admiring. God, what good work you're doing. Holy Mary. Is she serious about expelling us? Hello, Principal Mendelssohn. Oh, Miss Pauling, on business, I assume. Please sit down, please sit down. So I've received a report from a concerned mother. I wanted to hear about this parkour business from you. A boy was hurt, it seems, in the hospital and in serious condition. Why didn't you report this? You thought I shouldn't know? You should, of course, but nothing terrible has happened. Everything is fine with the boy. Minor bruising, and the parkour fad is over at the school. Minor? but the mother claims that her son is in serious condition. Principal Mendelssohn, the children are out there breaking their necks. Miss Pauling, good afternoon. Parkour? I thought parkour was done with. I thought so as well. Here is an order banning it. Well, I doubt all of the students are aware of it. And if they ignored it, that's a question of school discipline. Look. Mrs. Turner, uh, can I come in now? I came across an interesting specimen here and had a question about one plant. Proof that God loves fools. I just told you, cut it out. Safe like in a circus, you said. Go to the nurse. Principal Mendelssohn. You understand this has to come to an end now. Prohibiting it won't stop it. If we ban it, they'll just leave school grounds. And there's nothing we can do about that. We're not responsible for their actions outside school grounds. This is the wrong approach. If I don't see a problem, then there isn't one. Is that it? I don't believe we've met. This is our new economics teacher, Miss Catherine Waters. Well then, it's a pleasure. Well, Miss Catherine Waters, until you are either in my chair or in Principal Mendelssohn's chair, I'll say this. Leave the decision-making to us. And what does one's position have to do with common sense? I suggest we discuss all these questions at the Teachers' Council in a calm manner. Miss Pauling, will you be staying? Thank you, Miss Kaufman. I'll be happy to. Can I have a moment? It's important. Excuse me. There, Miss Pauling. Do you see what's going on here? Principal Mendelssohn is a great teacher. The children love him and he is respected by teachers, but he lacks a firm hand. And where does that leave me? I'm always the bad cop as a result. What can you do, Dora? It's a dog eat dog world out there. How have you been? I would like to tell you that I have other joys in my life in addition to the failures of others, but I can't. 
Principal Mendelssohn, look what I found in the bathroom. If my modest knowledge hasn't failed me, it's cannabis. As if the parkour wasn't enough, one misfortune after another. I think we should notify the police. And the sooner, the better. Agreed. <sighs> I don't even know where this came from. Mrs. Turner, I apologize for interrupting your class, but there was an unfortunate incident at the school. Bags containing cannabis were found in the boys' room. I was forced to contact the police. Drugs cannot be permitted in our school. Search. Garza, come with us. Bring the backpack. All right. Quiet. Ten minutes left. Finish up. He's clean, free to go. I don't understand why our dog reacted like that. Maybe because of the sausage? Impossible, this is a highly trained dog. He only responds to narcotics. Maybe he hid it somewhere. Possible. You can search the whole school. We will start on the first floor. Let's go. Huh. How did they let you go? Buzz off. You still selling or not? Yeah. Basically, I'm gathering information, if you're still interested. Offer Olivia some herb. She's constantly depressed. It won't hurt her. Man, selling pot is sort of intense when the police are running around the school with dogs. So where's the goods? The product is safe, but... <sighs> go tell him everything. Do you want me to go to jail? Your first day at school. Fine, I guess. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I remembered I'm late to something. I know you asked not to get close, but we need to address the psychiatrist issue. Go see him yourself. Veronica, don't be rude, please. The last thing I want is to drag you around hospitals. But I don't know how to get out of this. I couldn't get through to the doctor who examined you at all today, morning till evening. I tried. Maybe you can go have a chat with her. Want a sandwich? Problems with a newcomer? No. How'd you come to that conclusion? What's wrong? Nothing. Coffin will catch us and scream at us again. Sick of her. Well, okay. Walk home together? 
Sure. Well, boys and girls, question of the day. Who's a better boyfriend? Someone your age or an adult? Mm, an experienced man. Hello. Why are you here all alone? What's it to you? Well, nothing really. I'm just here. A little offer. Need some? But where'd you get it? There's cops at school. Well, I got the last of it. So, you want some? No, not really. You're making a mistake. Life immediately becomes a little better and simpler. Yeah, this depression is smothering me like a blanket. Boyfriend problems again. Got any cash? That's everything. That should be enough. Here, take it. That's yours. Need a light? Mm-hmm. So what? Better? <coughs> Crap, what happened? Where is that? In your pocket? One sec. Here, here. Take it. Feeling better? Come on, better? That's it. Come on, get up, get up. Come on, come on. You all right? What was that? I just, I just have asthma. And you wanted to smoke? Idiot. Uh-huh. Well done, Crawford. Have a seat. What? No one? Christina? Mm-hmm. Sit, that's a zero. Anyone else? Maybe our new student can answer. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not good at math. Well, if you want to stay in this school, I would still advise you to pay attention. Well, how has everyone else stayed here if they don't pay attention to mathematics? If someone gets sick, that's what ambulances are for. We never had so many problem children, but now we've been blessed. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about Veronica Carter. You haven't had 10A yet, have you? Not yet. There's a lot of wonderful moments waiting for you. 
Insolence, bold rudeness. They also don't know a thing about mathematics. Of course. Mm-hmm. Excuse me? Good luck. Leave me alone today. I will disappear after you listen to me. <sighs> About the doctor. This is not my doing. This is 100% serious. If you do not go, you will be registered to a psychiatric clinic. So what? And that will be preserved forever on your record. Do you want to be insane all your life? I thought of a solution. You go to a meeting with this lady, talk to her, and even if she prescribes you medicine, I will allow you to not take it. Because I think you're perfectly healthy, and this is all nonsense. I'm not going anywhere. Well, great. They will throw you in a mental institution by force, and you won't be able to spit your pills back into your hand. Do you understand that? Okay. I'll go. All right. And one more question. Why did you make the math teacher mad? She asked me what an integral is. Nobody knew. But you do. Well, of course I do. But I said I didn't know. How was I supposed to be a perfect little schoolgirl when she was handing out Fs to everyone? But why the rudeness? I wasn't rude at all. She came at me, so I answered. You're the one that taught me to stand up for myself. Okay, dear colleagues, I propose expelling any student that violates the order banning parkour. I'm proposing a vote who's for. All right, hold it. Wait a minute. Prohibition, exclusion, that won't solve anything at all. Children will continue to hurt themselves. What difference does it make at school or on the a street? A big difference, Ms. Waters. There is no difference. But we can tilt the situation in our favor. For example, start a parkour club at school. Invite athletes from city teams. Professionals will prepare the children physically and teach them how to be safe. Why? We already have a club. It's two birds with one stone. First, the children's energy will be directed to a useful activity. Secondly, parkour has elements of physical training and gymnastics. And we will keep kids off the street for a while. Well, then I agree. Miss Waters, maybe you should conduct your research outside the school. John's disappeared. He ran away from the hospital. How'd he escape? You know, quietly. The doctor said that he had been calling a girl from school all day, but she wouldn't answer. This, this is all your school. It's driving him crazy. So do something. All right, calm down. We will handle everything. I will gather all of his classmates and ask who he was talking to. Let's go. No, don't worry. Everything will be fine. It's all your school. One thing after another. Isn't this a little much for one school, Principal Mendelssohn? Huh? Andrew, when will you turn in your essay? Andrew!
What is that? It's not mine. I thought so. You decided to paint the walls and there's just weeds sitting there? It just happens, right? Where did you get it from? I'm telling you, it's not mine. The problem with teenagers is that you think you know more than adults. Do you really think I'm gonna believe that? Fine, it is mine. But honestly, this is my first time selling it. Your first time? So your parents don't even know? I bet they'll be proud that their son is making some money at such a young age. Tell you what, let me pass the news along. I beg you, please don't. This isn't what it looks like. This is a coincidence, and I won't do it anymore, I swear. Come here. And now, let's go. Come on, jump. I don't want to. Why don't you want to? Because you want to live? So why are you pushing others to their death? You know it's dangerous to smoke cannabis, hmm? It kills brain cells and a person slowly begins to die. Do you want to take someone's life? Then do it quickly. For example, by pushing them out a window. I suggest you start with me. All right, enough. I can't do this. Can you sell drugs? Miss Waters, it's not what it looks like. Then what is it? Tell me. I can't really believe me. I've never done something like this before. And I won't do it anymore. Is this all the weed? Yes. I will be watching you. You do this again, you're out of this school. And your parents will know why. All right, I won't do it again, okay? Go. What? Hey, can people really buy weed from you? Where'd you hear that? Hold on. Can they or not? Get out of here. I don't have anything. Got it. So you're dealing pot now? This is not mine. I thought you were smarter than that. I took it from one of the students. Ah, isn't it shameful to make everything the kid's fault? No, not really. If you want to accuse me, get lost. Maybe you shouldn't be casting the first stone. What do you mean? What don't you get? I'm not the one that reeks of booze every morning. I am just astounded by your impudence, Miss Waters. You have just been caught red-handed with cannabis, and you are also accusing everyone around you of alcoholism. I love it. Always a pleasure. Anytime. Buddy, let's talk. Uh. Well, where's the cash? Here. Is that all? Well, I sold one bag and then no one wanted anymore. At our school, either everyone's an athlete or has evil parents. Also, the police showed up with sniffer dogs today. I was almost caught because of you. They returned my stuff. I don't have it. My teacher took it from me. Mm. 
Your teacher, you say? Yes. <laughs> 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 Mom! Someone's getting beat up near the school! Hey, you get off of him! I'll find you! Hendy, how are you? You alright? How are you? I'm fine. Alex, thank you for your help. Do you know him? Well, I've seen him a few times. Let's go to the police and submit a statement. There's no need. He gave me the weed. He said he was a police officer, then forced me to help him find dealers and buyers. He said I had to push a few bags and just now ask me for the money. Is this your pot? Yes. Then my apologies, Ms. Waters. Hey, hey! I've been calling you all day. Why didn't you answer? Do I have to? If I want to, I'll answer. If not, I won't. But we were supposed to see a movie. I did a trick. And fell on your face. So what? I still did it. Listen, you promised, so go. I don't want to. Has your head healed yet? Maybe I should just tear it off, eh? Okay, I blah, will. Blah, blah, blah. You will cry at my funeral. Enough with the dumb jokes. It's no joke. Be sure to watch the news. Previously on school. Today we have a new student at our school, Veronica Carter. She had a suicide attempt. Or tell anyone there that you are my mother. Problems with the new kid? I wouldn't mind tightening up my English. Ah! My son was injured on school grounds, and I demand an investigation and that the principal be dismissed. So you want me to get this tattoo? Oh damn, my mom's gonna kill me. I'm so scared it's gonna be painful. Really? Is it that important for you? Don't start that again. You know you're my crush. I'm waiting for you like desert waiting for rain. Yeah. Don't yell at me. Bay, don't hang up on me again. Bay. Hello? What did you take? Leave it. It's for Frank. How many times do I have to tell you? Sausage and cheese? Not for you! What if I want some too? Who cares what you want? Frank works hard at the factory. And he's a man. He needs to eat well. And you just push your food around. Oh gosh, wash the floor today and go to the grocery. I want to make stew today. Okay, I'll wash the floor, but tell Frank to go to the grocery. Bags are heavy. Ugh. You little piece of crap. First earn your own money, and then tell other people what to do. Look at her, she thinks she's smart. You only get F's at school. Hello. Yeah, it's me. Doesn't matter. Listen, I want to get a tattoo. You told me you know some dude. How much? How much? Well, okay. Sit down, Nikki. What do you want? Toast, omelet, porridge with milk as you like it? Maybe salad? I don't want any. I'll have coffee. Who drinks coffee on an empty stomach? You will feel sick, hmm? Well, fine. You can eat at the school cafeteria. Ugh, school food sucks. It stinks. Actually, in the school it doesn't. You'd rather try it at least once. How do you like the school, by the way? Well, the English teacher is normal, doesn't force us to read books, doesn't give us a headache, and his lessons are cool. That's great. 
English never hurt anyone. Maybe we could go somewhere in the summer, and in meantime, you could practice the language. Listen, maybe we could hire a tutor. I don't always get what the teacher's talking about, and I don't want to lag behind in English. And what about math? I don't want to look stupid or look like a nerd either. Is that clear? Fine. I will ask at school. Maybe they could recommend someone. Okay. Uh, sorry, eh? Frankie, sorry. Oh, what time is it? It's only eight. Sleep, sleep. Uh, uh, uh. You stupid woman. You know I won't be able to fall asleep again. I prepared some sausage. Cheese. For you. Go eat something. Why aren't you at school yet? Uh, we don't have first class today. Hey, Mom, we've been told to bring some money for school stuff. Everybody already brought it except us. Are you nuts? Uh, you're giving money to buy presents for your teachers? What a stick up. You could at least respect the law. They're bullshitting you. And you believe it. You shouldn't ever give any money to anybody. For sure, Frankie? Sure as hell! Ah, don't let them fool you. Now, Stacy, she's a real ball break. When she was in the eighth grade, she herself made it clear to the teacher she will never give them anything. And here you idiots are. Two stupid ass dummies who would believe in anything. Ah, oh, Lord. How many times did I tell you not to beg for money in front of Frank? He already takes us for country bumpkins. How much? A thousand. How much? A thousand? Are they out of their minds or what? They better not think that we're rich. Should be enough. Trish, where's the ketchup? How can I eat steak without ketchup, huh? Oh, I'm coming. Frank, I'm coming. Come on, quick. Coming, coming, coming. Coming. Come on. You told me you had everything prepared. Just a moment. Don't be mad. Sit down. Sit, sit. It must be here somewhere. And give me something to drink. Here's your juice and sour cream. Juice. Mama Mount. You know Nat? So what? I'll give you hundred if you tell her you heard I die tonight. You, you crazy? One fifty. Two hundred. Morning. Morning. Relax, dude. Die another time. How are you feeling? Did you resolve the issue with the hospital? What do you mean? Don't you know there's a penalty for breaking out of the hospital? Which one? Your mom will have to pay a fine. How much? A lot. But you can take care of it. How? You have to call and say that yesterday when you left the hospital, you felt better. And you twisted your leg today at school when you were trying to parkour again. Okay. Okay. Ambulance. Hello. I'm calling you from School 18. We have a an injured student here. No! I don't want to go back to the hospital. One moment. Who cares what you want? We have to get it done right now. Otherwise, your mom will have to pay a few thousands. You get it? Hello. Okay, we'll be waiting at the nurse's office. Miss Roberts, morning. Dora Kaufman from school. I wanted to ask you, is it possible for you to make a news report today about parkour in our school? Yes, yes, yes. They're snapping their necks and no one's doing anything. Well, am I a teacher or what? I can do something about it. Yeah. 
Thanks, I'll be waiting. I don't get it. What were you talking about in your vlog yesterday? Who's better to date, a guy your age or a mature man? What was that about? Just thoughts aloud, what's wrong with that? Did you see how many comments they left? It turned into such a shitstorm. You couldn't find another topic? Or are you looking for a sugar daddy? I saw those comments. I'll be your daddy. Are you jealous? <laughs> Silly, calm down. You can be a mama's boy at 30, or you can be as cool as you are at 15. Come on! Well, okay. Besides, my vlog needs some drama. You don't be mad at me. Here, as agreed. Does it hurt? Sit down. Ready to start or...? Oh no, I'm scared. Then come back when you're ready. Okay, ready. Sure. As hell. So what's it gonna be, a flower? Very funny. I, I want a shell like this, but the other half. And what's the guy doing time for? It's none of your business. Never mind, I've done my time already. Too bad such a pretty girl like you wasn't waiting for me. Is he getting out soon? Maybe I'll show you a good time. Get off me, or I'll kick your ass. Oh, so sassy. All right, relax. Just a joke. So what? On which hand do you want to get it? This one. All right. Well done. Quickly coped with the task. <laughs> it was a cool assignment. All right, good. Now let's divide into two groups. One will be journalists, and the other will be superstars. Those who made their hobby a profession and became stars. I'm definitely the cool chick. But you're a journalist. Indeed. Mr. Mendelssohn, what's better to choose for me? I have 200,000 followers on my channel. That's kind of like journalism, right? Lola's getting stuck between smart or beautiful. <laughs> Shut up. Lola, here's a solution. You can, for example, switch roles with Nat. First, she'll interview you, and then you, her. Veronica, who will you be? Well, I can tell you about my hobby. Okay, then I'll be a journalist. Let's show an example. I can also share about my hobby and post it in my vlog. Mr. Mendelssohn, I will sit in. Just a routine check, I won't interrupt. What is this? Okay, let's start. What is your hobby? I like cosplay. Cosplay? What is it? Some kind of weird shit. You're a weirdo. What? Shut up. No one asked you. Lola.
Mr. Mendelssohn, I'm pleasantly surprised. Too bad I came at the end of class. Such a creative approach. At this rate, I'll be asking you for your advice. Oh, please. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Stop by later? Yeah? Sorry, gotta run. Have a nice day. I think you'll have to give me an A. <sighs> Bobby will see. Miss Waters, sorry to interrupt. I wanted to ask you for the class book and your lesson plan. For inspection. I don't have one, and I haven't filled in the class book yet. Well, no big deal, you're on break. If you please, get it done and bring it to me, all right? Actually, I plan to check the quiz. <laughs> I don't really care what you were planning. The lesson plan should be ready every day. The class book should be filled in every day. These are important school documents. It seems these documents are just a formality. For me, the most important thing is the motivation of my students. All right then, in an hour, the lesson plan and class book should be on my desk. Is that clear? You know how wise people say, facing challenges is what makes you strong, not running away from them. Have a good time. Uh, Miss Waters. Bobby. How's it going? Well, it seems that with economy, things are great. Are you expecting to get a good grade? Yeah. Today we had an interesting task. To advertise a failing company. How interesting. But understand, if there's no economy, then there's no product and no advertising will help. You're a smart boy, right? But Miss Waters says it will help. Mm-hmm. You know, Miss Waters says a lot. You shouldn't believe everything she says, for one. Secondly, if everything was exactly as Miss Waters says, we would all have become millionaires a long time ago, including her. So what's she doing here at our school on a teacher's salary? Have you thought about it? Think about it. Oh, Paul, wait a sec. I want to ask the English teacher something. What do you know about cosplay? I'm oh, sorry I woke you. No, I didn't get banned from Google. It just needs some useful info. You're not Wikipedia. You're my information expert. Mr. Mendelssohn, I need to speak with you about an open lesson. Please come to me. All right? Well, where it came from and how it developed. Lola, you want something? Miss Kaufman, journalists came to see the principal. They're asking about parkour again. I'm off. See you. Take care. Listen, do all comic book stores have a cosplay section? Do you remember there was something in one of the episodes? Yes, I understand it's just a movie, but I need some info about it. Something I can show my students. It could also be a kind of movie, but not a dull one. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Hugs and kisses. Thank you. For what? For the first time in her life, Veronica's interested in studying. Cosplay. That's for her? What do you have to do with Veronica Carter? A lot. She is my daughter. No way. But she doesn't want anyone to know about it. Understood. I'm surprised my father didn't tell me about it. And what did he tell you? Not much. He mentioned there's a new kid coming, but nothing about you. You really are a great teacher. You are the first person Veronica has no problems with. Even I can't do that. I'm trying. Yes, I believe opening a parkour section at our school is the right decision. Restrictions won't help in this case. Children need to be organized and supervised. This is how we will solve this problem. Thanks. My pleasure. All right, then. Have a nice day. Thank you. Miss Roberts, I am very grateful for your help. Did you record all the interviews you wanted? Mike, let's do one more. Do you mind? I'm not prepared, wearing no makeup, Miss Roberts. And the principal covered everything? Well, I assume you have a different point of view. Not that much different, but for me, as a woman, the situation with parkour is a cause for concern. Understand? Let's give it a try, eh? Ready? 
What do you think about opening a parkour section at school? I think it's a wonderful idea. However, we've had some problems. The issue is that there are few experts in this field. And taking a person from the streets is dangerous. It can cause us a lot of trouble. We are hoping to find a talented professional who will help us and be our hero. Thanks. <sighs> thank you. You're the one to thank, Miss Roberts. You're helping us. Karen is doing really well at math. She's an extremely oh, she's smart an girl. She's an extremely smart girl. I hope so. Well, that's enough for today. Thompson, I won't keep you. come here. Let's go, Mike. Why are you late? Are you special? Sorry. Sorry. Hurry to class. You can write me an explanatory note later. Congratulations, Miss Waters. The whole city is already talking about our parkour section. Wonderful. No need to spend on advertising. Are you sure we need such advertising? Mr. Mendelssohn will be blamed for every accident. No, I can understand his position, age, health. It's much easier for him to allow this to happen than doing something about it. The principal cannot take care of children 24 hours a day. We need to open the parkour section as soon as possible. That's it. And who will agree to work for these peanuts? Tell me, please. No one. Well, don't we have people responsible for educational work? We do. Do you know who feels the most pressure? Me. I have more work than anybody else. By the way, the hardest worker here is me. All I do is protect the school and protect the principal. Oh, really? Really. Did you see the inspection yesterday at school? Was that just for fun? Mr. Mendelssohn is hanging by a thread. Sure. You know best, Miss Kaufman. Oh, Alex, I didn't notice you. No problem. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> Frankie, I took off from work for a couple of hours. I wanted to get some groceries, but forgot the money at home. What the? What is it? Tell me. It seems... Olivia took money for school without permission. I didn't give her a thousand. Uh, how much? A thousand for school? Piece of crap. Yes, I'll go now and tell them what I think. They think they can take us for idiots. Yeah, I'm coming with you. Just need to change my clothes. Okay? Yeah. Bought new mascara. Allergic. Listen, you have napkins? Uh, yeah, just, just a sec. Here you are. Thanks. You're welcome. Veronica! Take it. Please eat something healthy. You didn't eat all day. Mom, buzz off! Listen, I will if you eat something. Well, okay. Maybe we'll go out for dinner tonight. What about sushi? Well, okay. We can go to the mall together in the evening. My sneakers are falling apart and I need a new pair. And we can have sushi there. Perfect. Then right after school shopping. How many classes left? Six, but then I'll have a biology lab. Okay, I'll get there on my own. And we'll meet there. Okay, if you say so. How's John? How would I know? He said yesterday he would smash his head, but today he disappeared. Maybe he really smashed... like for real? Well, let's call and ask. The subscriber cannot receive your call at the moment. Please try again later. Oh, you're screwed. What's that got to do with me? Don't you get it? If something happens to John, you'll be the one to blame? Yeah. 
I saw such a story on TV. It's called incitement to suicide, and the girl was put in jail for that. Pick up. The subscriber cannot receive your call at the moment. Please try again later. The subscriber cannot receive- Shit. So what do we do now? Let's call the hospital. Maybe he's there. Uh-huh. Or in the morgue. Miss Waters, have you prepared the documents? Not yet. But I asked you. I'll get it done. Well, didn't we agree that the documents are priority? Checking quizzes took a long time. And what sort of quizzes take so long? From the school program? Not exactly. You made me curious. Maybe tomorrow we'll arrange an open lesson with you so you can show your colleagues what teaching skills you have. Is this an offer that I can't refuse? You understood it correctly. In the spotlight is school number 18. In this school, the boy almost killed himself while doing an exercise in parkour. Despite this terrible accident, the school principal continues to promote parkour. Dora Kaufman, the vice principal of the school, is against it. Yes, I believe opening a parkour section at our school is the right decision. We've had some problems. The issue is that there are few experts in this field. And taking a person from the streets is dangerous. It can cause us a lot of trouble. How can such a person be called a teacher? He is letting children out there to die by his own hands. This should be banned. There are no official statistics on parkour death in the world, but often incorrectly performed exercises can lead to serious injuries. My words were taken out of context. Don't you see? I'll go warn the principal before it gets bad. Ms. Waters, class books and lesson plans are not a big deal. I'll show you how to fill in everything and you'll get better at it quickly. That would be great. Don't be angry at Dora. She's doing this with good intentions. At least the school is always ready for unexpected checks. And now it seems like there will be another one soon. I didn't know that our Miss Kaufman has her own fan base. She is my wife. Ex-wife. Don't take it personally. Sorry, I didn't know that. That's alright. So, let's start with the class book? Yes, let's do this. Let's see how you coped with the task, what you came up with for the advertising campaigns. Advertising for shampoo, even Khaleesi washes her tits and pussy. <laughs> Wonderful. Interesting. No, I can't understand if it's a shampoo, then it's water. If it's water, someone should be wet and naked, and of course, there must be an association with the girl who has tits. And what? Pussy. Well, it seems like a pussy, too. Yes. Wonderful. What's the problem about it? Naked girls also advertise tiles. Which one? Hmm, some. I don't know, but I've seen the billboards hanging everywhere. You see, you have no idea what kind of tile is this. The same will happen with your shampoo. It's a C? Bobby, you did well writing your slogan for your children's ad. A simple slogan. Yummy yummy buys juicy juicy. But... In fact, this baby talking is the most annoying to adults. Well, actually, what did you do to get the buyers interested so they bought your product? This kind of advertising will absolutely not uh, save your company. But nothing will save it. The market is already glutted with foreign crap that's not advertised at all, and still people buy it. You are right. That's why your advertising must be very good. If everything was as simple as you say, everyone would be a millionaire, including you. Yeah, it sounds so easy when you say it. 
then any fool would be able to make money. All you need is to come up with a cool ad. A fool or not, but advertising is what makes your product sell. That's not true. He who gets more kickbacks per contract sells more. Why are you talking percentages? You're not teaching us real life like you promised. <gasps> Olivia! Rachel, call the ambulance, quickly! Call the nurse, quick! Get, get up! Get up! Help, guys, help! Here, here. Sit down. You force children to steal with your charges. I can't give Olivia thousands for school stuff. She took the money herself. She's ashamed to come without it. Think about what you're doing to children in your school. What demands and what money, Ms. We renovated the school last year thanks to our sponsors. What's that? What's that? Looks like your daughter fooled you and spent the money on something else. Piece of crap. Look, where is she taking her class? I don't have time to talk to you. I'm getting ready for the school meeting. Please wait for your daughter outside. She will come out to you at the break. That clear? Bye now. Well, how is she? Not great. Her temperature's gone up. She's got a fever. I called the ambulance. I'll go and meet them. Stay with her? Lie down, lie down. You don't need to get up. The doctor will come soon. Wait a little bit. There's no need. I'm okay. Well, stay in bed. Do you often have this? First time. Do you eat properly? Do you sleep enough? Maybe you have some problems with women's health. Healthy as a horse. Do you have a boyfriend? I'm not pregnant. Listen, even if you're pregnant, it's not that bad. I myself gave birth early. Can you guess why you started feeling so sick? Well, I did this today. And then I felt sick. Arm is itching. Feels cold. Why is Shell? Um, I have a boyfriend. He has the other half of it. And it sort of links us in a karmic connection. We got it done to be together forever. Good afternoon, what's the matter? Th this girl feels sick. Let's see. Uh-huh. How old are you? Fifteen. The tattoo looks fresh. Done today? It's a prison tat, right? A symbol of lovers. He is inside, she is outside. When they meet, arms will come together and the shell will become whole. Is your boyfriend in jail? But he didn't do anything. He was framed. Yeah, of course he was. Now everyone's gonna think that I'm in love with a criminal. I love him. Yes, dear, love is blind. He's not a jerk. I didn't mean that. Based on the symptoms, redness, itching, tissue swelling, looks like an ink allergy. We need to go to the hospital for intoxication treatment and tests to avoid blood infection. What do you want? Frankie, don't be so mad. She's never done something like that without permission before. How do you know? You're always busy working your shifts. You don't count money. They need to get beaten up daily. My Stacy got beaten up all the time, and it served well for her. Rachel! Another Rachel, one. have you seen Olivia? We're tired of waiting for her, and I'm already late for work. Yeah, I'll show her. I really don't know where she is. I got held up in the lab. Then hurry. Run back to school. Tell her her mother knows all about the stolen money, and she'd better not think of spending all it. All right, I'll go look. Hurry up. Olivia, your parents are waiting for you outside. Your mom asked to tell you to go out. She says you better not spend the stolen money. Damn. I'm not going anywhere. My mom's gonna kill me. And Frank will figure it out. He's been in jail. Oh, Miss Waters, yes? here you are. The meeting's starting. I'll come a bit later. Something happened? Can you please ask to move the ambulance from the main entrance to the back one? Olivia feels ill and I'm afraid she won't make it. But the distance is the same. Let me help. Just move the car. Do I look like a doorman? Listen, at least you look like a man. Allie, looks like there are no princes left, only clowns. Fine. Go to the back entrance. Thanks. 
Hello? Is John in your hospital? Me? Me? I'm his sister. I'm very worried. Yes. He disappeared today. And what happened? Uh, oh, thank you. Got it. Well, I'll come today to see him. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> this loser, John, can't even kill himself. He twisted his leg in, in the hospital. We'll handle this. No need to worry. Great. See you. So what happened to her? Reaction to a tattoo. Is she afraid to tell her parents? I guess these two are her parents. Looks like that. She made a specific tattoo and is afraid when her stepfather finds out about it, he'll kill her. Which one? Follow your dreams? <sighs> yeah, something like that. So you understand, the boy she's in love with is in jail. Of course, her parents have no clue about it. What? But they have a right to know about it. Wait. I'll definitely talk to them, but later. The girl is already freaked out. We're not in kindergarten. If you're afraid, I'll go tell them myself. Wait. Parents should be aware of this and be with their daughter in hospital. Alex, wait. Alex! They take us for some suckers. Let's go find her class and show them who they're messing with. Are you with. Olivia Thompson's parents? Oh. Yes, us. And where the hell is I she? I have a serious topic to discuss. We have to have a serious conversation with her. Where is this little piece of shit? Decided to go downhill early? I'll get this shit out of her. All this stupid children Calm down. rights crap. Calm down. You're not actually going to beat her, are you? Beat her? Of course. For such a nicking, people get whacked. Nicking? I mean, when you steal from your own gang. Well, how else to talk to her when she doesn't understand simple instructions? That. Yes, 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 Melanie. Yes, yes. I'm on my way already. They're already waiting at work. We'll talk to her at home. Yeah, let's go. I'll fix this at home. Make a citizen of her. Little piece of shit. Yes. Uh, coming. Sorry, some things came up. We need to get to the meeting. Are we having these meetings daily or what? Actually, I have a meeting with my daughter today. Tell me, how are you going to talk to such people by yourself? They seem... crazy. Very carefully. Allie brings her home with a bandage on her wrist. In the meantime, I find a master who will remove her tattoo. Well, I'll tell her parents that their kid overreacted and it was... just a stupid joke. Not bad. You thought it all through. Are you ready? I am. Mr. Mendelssohn, is it true that Olivia was taken away by ambulance and that she stole money from her own parents? Who told you that? That's a lie. Lola, you tell me. You have nothing to do but to gossip. It's warm today. Let's hang out. Mm-mm. I, I can't. I need to go to the library. Where? Are you okay? Yeah, fine. What happened? Nothing. I can't go quietly do my homework. My siblings interrupt me at home. Colleagues, we need to do something. Do you think it's funny, Miss Waters? We need to show the society that we care about the safety of our children. Does anyone know that John is in the hospital again? Today he almost died. You propose to finish him off so he doesn't suffer? No, I don't offer that, Mr. Mendelssohn. I offer to quit all this parkour idea immediately. That's all. Miss Kaufman, I have repeatedly said I agree with Miss Waters. The children in this case will just break their necks outside school. As far as I know, Miss Waters is an economist, not a psychologist. Or am I wrong? Oh, colleagues, pardon, city educational office calling. Yes, yes. When? Oh, really? Fine, thank you for calling me back. Yeah. Well there. Tomorrow will be reviewed by the Educational Board. They have a new Chief Inspector. And according to the report sent to me, the man is new and is a man of principle. Some got fired already. Mr. Mendelssohn, do not take it personally, but apparently you might be next. Okay. Then we have to prepare for his arrival. Until we find a coach, I'll work with the kids. Are you serious? What are you, an athlete? Athlete or not, I have a degree in boxing and swimming. <laughs> Thank you for the effort, Mr. Mendelssohn. Uh, dear colleagues, that, that's enough for today. 
Everyone's free. We will wait for the inspector. Lisa, when will the lab in 10A end? Lab is tomorrow. They've all gone home by now. Damn it! Yes, step aside, please. Sorry, sorry. Is it true that you're opening a parkour section at school? Yes. And who will coach? So far, me. Do you know how? Some. Maybe you can show me something and I'll post it? That's not gonna happen. Or maybe you'll show me something just for me? Take a picture of the poster and you can post that in your blog. When there will be a coach, you will interview him. I'm doing it just for now. Hello? Yes, you promised a car 15 minutes ago. Where is it? No, I don't need it in half an hour. Cancel the order. Problem? Yeah. My daughter is waiting and there's no taxi. I should have driven my car this morning. Where do you need to go? <sighs> City center at the shopping mall. Let me drive you. I'm meeting friends there. Thanks. Yes? Are you already there? Uh, Olivia, please don't cry. I will come now, okay? What happened? <sighs> Olivia's in trouble. Doctors called her parents and now for sure they will tell them everything. Damn it. Well, why aren't things less complicated? Please take me to the city hospital. <sighs> oh, guys, can I use your phone? Well, maybe. Only there's no money for service. Damn, and I have no money. Then back off. Cell phones cause brain cancer, don't You're you know? You're just bastards. <laughs> Even my daughter doesn't answer. We agreed to meet with her. Well, then meet your daughter. You have nothing to do with this Olivia. Her parents aren't going to beat her right there in the hospital. Let them sort it out. They won't be figuring it out. I promise to help her to talk to her parents. Promises should be kept. But didn't you also promise to meet your daughter? At the moment, she is not threatened by an ex-con. So one promise is more important than the other. You won't understand. Oh, how could I? By the way, my friends are waiting for me. I have a private life outside of school, too. Get in the car. I'm not a taxi. I don't need your handouts, thanks. I'll get there myself. Is there any way you can act normal and not be so stubborn? Oh my gosh. What could have happened? Where's that doctor? But what could be wrong? She's healthy as a horse. Just got scared and played the victim. Excuse me. Are you Olivia Thompson's mother? Yeah, it's me. Can we have a few words? Go. I'll wait for the doctor. Have a seat. Listen, I'm not a big talker. I'll get straight to the point. And I know very well what's happening with your daughter. But before you start yelling Please at hear me out... What's she done this time? She got a tattoo. My gosh. So that's why she stole the money. How did she come up with such an idea? I will kill her. Listen. Don't tell your husband anything. 
Now your daughter should be in the first place for you. How come? Because people come at and go. But your daughter stays with you. Do you love her? I do. But she's such a mess of a kid. Frankie's daughter is just the opposite. She's beautiful, smart, great at everything. And mine is... Imagine what if tomorrow your imperfect daughter dies. Unfortunately, I know what I'm talking about. When my daughter was on the edge of death. I was ready for anything. Even let her get tattoos all over her body. Because she was alive and healthy. She's afraid of her own mother. Frank has dragged her down completely. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Unfortunately, my visiting hours for parents are over. Please come tomorrow after 9 a.m. That's admirable. Unfortunately, I do not have my own children, but I have a few questions that I would like to have answered. Here, for example, why the average graduation score in your school has decreased by twice from last year. Why the third part of your students didn't get accepted to college. And there are still many, many questions. Who are you? So sorry for not telling you sooner. Connor Wilson, the new chief inspector of education and the Office for Standards. In education, children's services, and skills. I am your boss, in other words. Do you always trust rumors, Mr. Wilson? No. I always trust only myself. So, I decided to come and check everything by my own. By the way, can I be present in one of the classes tomorrow? Tomorrow we have an open lesson in economics with Ms. Kate Waters. She is a new teacher at school, but with an innovative approach to learning, so we expect good results in the economics this year. In addition, one more person joined our I'm team. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did you say Miss Kate Waters? I did. Do you know her? I doubt Miss Waters, the one I know, could be a good teacher. <laughs> well, that's all for now. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. My pleasure. Hi. <sighs> Your home? You think I would spend the night at the mall? <sighs> Sorry, I... I was on my way to you, but Allie called. She said that Olivia was ill. Her parents came to the hospital. Well, I had to talk to them. Weren't you supposed to meet me? I was. I was calling you. You didn't answer. That's because I forgot my phone at home. Who was calling you? You shouldn't have called. You should have come. But what am I talking about? You never care about me. Someone else is always more important to you than your daughter. Nikki, it's not true. Nikki, please listen.